Sonosuke continued hastily down the mountainous path, heading in the direction of Uano, but our arrival could not have been more poorly timed. As Ibuki had informed us, the Shoki Company confined themselves within Kanei Temple in Uano, fortifying their territory to protect from invasion. The Imperial Army, however, completely surrounded the premises, stationing rows of soldiers and small encampments around the perimeter of, perimeter of Mount Uano. Although it seemed as though the Shoki Company had resisted the Imperial Army well enough, by the time of our arrival, victory had fallen into the hands of the Imperials. Sonosuke and I hid behind a thick wall of trees beside the opening of the trail leading to Mount Uano. Sanosuke, do you really think my father will pass through this route? Tabuna, I reached my hand down towards my waist, my waist, wrapping my fingers around the hilt of my kodachi anxiously. Would father come just as Sonosuke has said? And would I... Would I truly be able to thwart father? Sonosuke rested his hand upon my shoulders. Without saying anything, he picked up on my nervousness, offering me a small gesture to comfort me. It was enough, and my heart settled into a manageable piece in my chest, pace in my chest. I had to remember something. I wasn't alone. In fact, the man I'd loved most was sitting here in the darkness beside me. Just as the thought crossed my mind, a gang of footsteps echoed in the distance. It wasn't only a dozen, or even two dozen feet. As they marched closer to us, I could have sworn they were numbered in the hundreds, perhaps more. It was inconceivable to think that this many soldiers they could have mobilized in such a late hour. Doubly so, considering the battlefield had been long, had been long since vac vacated. Which could only mean... I poked my head from behind the trees to get a closer glimpse at whom the footsteps had belonged. I couldn't help but gulp at what I'd seen. Hundreds of crimson eyes peeking through the darkness. Tufts of white hair dotted the head of every soldier marching in formation, like apparitions floating in the black of night. At the head of the formation was... Father. My kind, jovial father who raised me as a single parent ever since I was a young girl. I had to set my feelings aside. This mission could cost me my life, and I was ready for the consequences. I tightened my grip around my Kodachi, ready to leap out at him at any moment. Sonosuke stuck his arm in front of me. Sonosuke was right. They outnumbered us a hundred to one, and making ourselves known prematurely could have spelled disaster for us. Even with the reach of Sonosuke's spear, there was no way for us to challenge them all at once. But if we miss this opportunity to strike, then we might lose sight of where father was heading. I panicked to myself as I wondered what to do when... I found myself startled by the sudden crack of gunfire. This absolutely should be who I think it is. <laughs> through partially covered eyes, I watched a speeding bully rip through the chest of a marching fury as he toppled over and fell to the ground. Could it be? Yo, Fodo. Shiranui called out to father, and smoke floated from out of the barrel of the pistol in his hand. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this, I think this basically confirms that Shiranui is a clan leader. Yeah. Oh, eh. 
改善すべき点がいくつも見つかった古い鬼もたまには役に立つのだな Father's fictitious statement made Shiranui scoff. Tene, Choshu no Yazrama de Makiko Yagatana. Tene got cut any rasses or scoot the Tanoshin de Rubunu as Tagotcha Nega. Sigo no ego to Narabeta de Aitra or Damasta Kotakewa Yurusene. Hm, no, 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 ボケんじゃねえ。今日の戦いの指揮を取ってたのは長州の連中だろうが。だから巻き込んだりはしていない。私の研究の成果を聞き、落ち水の改良に協力したいと言ったのは長州の人々なのだから。なんだって。うーしらのウィスペース。江戸城も落ち、徳川義信将軍は謹慎中、新政府軍の勢いはとどまるところを知らない。だがそれはあくまでも、のもと国内の話だ。幕府軍を片付けた後は、さらに大きな敵と対峙せねばならない。イギリス、フランス、アメリカ。そして世界最大の領土を誇るロシア圧倒的な工業力と兵力を持った西洋の国々が虎視眈々と我が国を狙っているああそうだあいつが高杉が上海に出かけた時西洋人が新国の連中をまるで犬っ子のみてえに扱ってるのを見て。Shanghai, a sprawling waterfront port located in central China, used as a trade destination during the Opium War between Great Britain and China. China, a gigantic mainland country to the east of Japan, that is an expansive melting pot for trade, industrial development, and cultural ideals. もっと強い国に生まれ変わらせなきゃならねえってなそうだろう長州藩士たちが私の研究を高く評価したのも当然のことだ西洋と渡り合える国を作るには金と技術そして強い兵が必要なのだからねモラン野本の独立を守るためには強い兵を生み育て最強の軍事国家を作るしかあるまいそのためにラセツの実験をしてるってわけかその通りラセツならば死を恐れることはない心臓を貫かれぬ限り死ぬこともない何があっても交代などしない最強の軍隊が出来上がるのだ。シェルヌイスカウルディーリティブリー、セミュリーンケープブルーをトラリングマイファーザーズモノローフォンマチロンガー。ザケンジャレーアラスシェルヌイラシタウトインテラクトファーザー。確かに高そう。アタラシークリオ。ここにもまたね、強くにおいてて、クチグセミテニーディアガタサ。Oh, so he's aware that his friend had the same idea, okay. But now, I do a Chihedo Hakinagara Ixabani Tate Yamai de Boroboro no Karado Hikizute Chino Katamari or Haiti Kutabachima Shukan Made Ningen that does it. She won a taste that Chikaramonesi. She pocket a sugar shinjima. これが嫌いで嫌いでしょうがねえ生き物のままだったよシルヌは slowly losing his composure shaking violently as he barked at father and until a dilemma raced inside of シルヌイ at one end シルヌイ harbored a deep hatred for humanity and his people 
And at the other end, he still hadn't probably mourned the death of his friend. Father snapped his fingers before screaming a command of the Furies lurking behind him. Ah, Nasset's touch. So, Pony, you're on your chill. Zongun is Sulinga. No sooner than when the words left Father's mouth. I watched the row of crimson eyes glow with enthusiasm as they all focused on Shiranui. Before Shinui had any chance to react, the Furies surrounded him and blocked any path to escape. They formed a ring around him like a pack of lionesses circling in their hunt, ready themselves to pounce at any moment. Sasuke left from behind our hiding place. He twirled his spear overhead with both hands, and as he swung it downwards, it connected with the skull of a nearby fury, cracking open its forehead. Because of the fury's languid movements, Sasuke was able to thrash them blindly with wild swings. Tameo! Hey, Shiranui. Happy to see us. We're saving your ass. Skedachi suru ze, Shiranui. Munakuso warui hanashi wo en-en kikasarete, choudo harawata ga niekuri kaette ta koro da. Baka yaro! Dare mo tasukete kure nante itte ne yo! Kikkonde yagare! So I can answer. What about the noir? See you, Mononi K. You are a little bit of 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 a little bit its sharp point sliced through the thigh of its target. A splash of blood cascading into the air, followed by the chilling sound of a desperate shriek soon after. It was a gruesome scene as Sunasuke nimbly dismembered the limbs of his opponents, peeling sinews from bones with the flick of his spear. Shirinui's eyes widened at the sight. あらだ。てめえ。人間の癖して生意気なこと言ってくれんじゃねえか。高杉のやつが生きてた頃を思い出す。I <laughs> I witnessed depravity beyond comprehension. Comprehension. Eh. One of the Furies wandered away from the pack. <laughs> the Fury began stabbing the corpses of its fallen comrades with impunity before putting his mouth against their wounds, lapping up their blood, e their blood eagerly. What? <laughs> You know what? I actually had this in my brain. It's like, what happens if they drink each other's blood? I guess we're gonna find out. I struggle to believe that at one point these were ordinary men. Men with lives, families, futures. But now. <laughs> These furies were glossy eyed and docile, moving like mindless beasts in search of their next meal. They've become zombies, basically. As Sonosuke and Shiranui continued subduing them, the furies only became more rabid as the stench of blood thickened in the air. As I gazed in horror, the one responsible for this morbid display called out to me. <laughs> 
ここにいるのだろう。出てきなさい。Father appeared in front of me, smiling warmly as he beckoned me to emerge. I timidly stepped out of my hiding place to reveal myself to him. Father, why are you doing this? Inomoto wa gai nirawale teiru. Dewa, okuni no tame ni shi teiru no dai. Gai? Gai, a pejorative term referring to foreign countries or, visit or visitors. Is that how we got Gaijin? No, da. Subarashi, Kimono Tachidaro. Karela Sai, Ireba. Hinomoto, Antaida. Ste. No Hinomoto, Mamori Kireba. Shin Safe, no. Whatever I know, it's the cold zonza, I knew, I'd sky my. I watched Father's eyes twinkle with excitement as he rubbed his hands together, but. It was beyond me to ever think that Furies were capable of becoming a solution to our country's woes, as opposed to becoming its bigger, pr biggest problem. Do you seriously th believe any of this, Father? They were normal men, weren't they? All of them had lives ahead of them. Friends, loved ones, people who cared about them. Father let out a merry laugh, like he and I were having a friendly conversation over a cup of tea. Namunua. I don't think it's going to be a good thing. I don't think it's going to be a good thing. Although his face and expression were familiar, his message was completely foreign to me. And I found myself repulsed every time he spoke. This was no longer the father I used to know, and even referring to him as father was felt criminal. As his daughter, I had no choice. It was my duty to undo the evil he was summoning. I tightly gripped the hilt of my Kodachi resting on my hip, marching in Father's direction with my back straightened. <gasps> I never thought I'd ever use this Kodachi, nor had I ever expected to use it in order to take someone's life. But this, this is my duty. As I got within arm's reach of father, I slowly slid the blade from out of its scabbard. Then, my eyes shut tightly, and I drove the Kodachi into the side of his ribcage. <laughs> Yo, for those saying that Shizuru does absolutely nothing, um, I heard the squish of father's flesh as I twisted the blade in his abdomen. It was an unsettling sensation. Because the feeling of holding the Kodachi in his body irked me, I quickly yanked it back out. As I opened my eyes, I jumped back in fright. 